Alright, All right, guys. Hello, this is Dr. Brian. Um, what I want to do is I want to review with you guys a good, healthy probiotic that you can take. The last workshop we did was uh, a healthy gut and probiotics. You can't have a healthy gut unless you have a good uh, microbiome or a or good bacteria in your gut. That's essential. You know, we take we get one millionth of the bacteria that we used to get in our guts now. And you look at the there's so many gut issues today with leaky gut to autoimmune issues to IBS and IBD. Um, there's just a lot of Crohn's, colitis, whatever. Um, gastro, gastritis, just a lot of issues going on right now with our guts. Um, and I do believe that's the only area where you're really absorbing a lot of your nutrients or most of your nutrients. So um, it's important to take care of your gut. The gut is the place where I think a lot of health does start. Um, so, you know, our ancestors got, you know, lots and lots of um, probiotics in, in years past, and we just aren't getting what we need to get today. So, this is what we got to do. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to um, use the products that I like to use. This is a company I like to use. You can see here it's called Metagenics. Metagenics has been around for uh, decades now. They're a good, solid company. Um, I do like them with their, their quality, re their reliability, the research that they put behind their products. Um, that is number one. Number two, they made it really e easy for me. Um, they created myself an online store for them to use, for me to use. So if you got to go, to, you, the first thing you want to do is go to brianvoithopper.metagenics.com. You could probably see that at the top. Um, you need to create an account, agree to all the terms, things like that. Once you're in the account, you're in my system. That's great because once you're in my system, guys, that's the cool thing is I can give you basically like recommendations that for you. Like so, if you're looking for a product or a high quality product, I could go on here, look something up, send it to you through an email. You get a recommendation. You could open it up if you want to buy the product. Great. If you don't, that's fine. Again. I just hope that I can give you guys the knowledge to take care of yourself as a body and soul unity. I'm showing you what I use. If you feel like you're called to take this supplement, that's great. You guys are all getting first online orders get 20% off, just to let you guys know. So if you look down here, you, there's so many, there's like 690 products on this. There's all these different um, categories and nutrient nutrition focus that you could look at. There's detox products, um, different enzymes you could take, ketogenic, if you're somebody who likes ketogenic stuff. There's keto soup in here. It's supposed to be really good. I haven't tried it yet, but I heard it's great. Um, if you want a good multi or omega-3s, that's one reason why I really like this company is I found a solid, good, non-concentrated um, triglyceride form omega-3, which I really, really like. Um, men's health, women's health, um, muscle bone all these different issues right there so you could check his stuff out guys it's really cool um, but let's go to gastrointestinal health because I want to give you guys the recommendation that I use um, for myself and for a lot of my patients okay here we go so let's scroll down the page the first there's all these different types of products in here and you could look at them if you want and research them the one I really like there is the ultra floor spectrum so I'm gonna click on that I want you guys to know the reason why I chose this is because it is a broad spectrum probiotic and it is what it says right at the top, gastrointestinal and immune function health. This has seven different beneficial probiotic strains. I always look for something at least six or more. Um, you know, when you do like kefir and things like that, if you if you do do dairy, um, you're looking at 60 different strains of different pro probiotics and that stuff. So, um, and again, it has to be through an unpasteurized, so you can't be getting kefir in the store. Commercial kefir just doesn't do it. Um, so if you get on the, let's check his, the product out a little bit, is there's thir for each capsule, there's 30 billion colonizing forming units. What that means is that's the good bacteria. We want to colonize your gut with good bacteria, at least five times the amount good versus bad. That's how we keep candida or any yeast or fungal overgrowth limited in your body. And if you're someone out there that's eating a lot of processed, high sugar foods, refined foods, unhealthy fats, you're just feeding the yeast. You're feeding this unhealthy bacteria. So number one, you need to remove that kind of stuff. So important. So let me just, I, I want to, um, you can get this in 30 capsules or 60 capsules. You do one a day. You want to take this. I like to take it with food. Um, specifically, you could, do, I mean, there's so much, so many people out there say morning, you take it at night. 
Um, you know, if if you uh, you could do it with some people say without food, with food. I mean, it just goes on and on. So like, I think you should take all types of supplements with food. That's just how I am. I think you're gonna have more better absorption and um, uh, and especially with the probiotic to get the probiotic into the GI system. And one reason why I did chose this probiotic is because it actually they found it in the stool of people. A lot of these bacteria here on the left. They were found in the stool, so meaning that they were getting through into your small and large intestines and they were colonizing, which is good. We want that. So I want to hit a couple major points with each one of these probiotics and show you the benefits of each one in the body. Um, again, uh, so what we got here is a sacra don't <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna say all these names, but Saccharomyces boulardii. Okay, so this is actually a non pathogenic yeast. So we know candida is yeast, but this is a non-pathogenic. So it's genetically and functionally different from candida. I, I, that's important for you to understand. The research on this probiotic, people were using it for um, diarrhea, traveler's diarrhea. And actually, they were using it for candida. Um, and what they, they found is this, um, this non-pathogenic yeast, Saccharomyces boulardii, it inhibited the hyphae. So when you get candida, candida will basically, they're like these suction cups, man. They're just like, they get to your um, uh, your small intestines and they, they crack open those cells that should be nice tight junctions like this. So they open them up like this. And then you get, that's where you get the leaky gut and you get all these autoimmune diseases and things like that and inflammation in the body. We don't want that. So it inhibits those hyphae from breaking apart the cells, right? Um, and it, it helps with detachment of uh, salmonella, E. coli. Um, it increases the brush borders of your. Uh, this is where your uh, nutrients are absorbed. So it it helps to uh, enhance that ability. Um, so for so nutrient absorption, it's really good for that. So um, it also helps to work with parasites. So that's good too. Okay, so I'm just going to run through my notes here. The next one here we have by. Fidiobacterium lactis bi. What I want you guys to pay attention to is what I'm the, the major points that it helps with. So this was the best trial probiotic strand for immunity. It was a long history of safe use. Um, this is interesting. People who take antibiotics, they found out that this probiotic was helped the the quickest rapid return to pre-antibiotic microbiome state. So that's that's huge. We want to get back to that pre-antibiotic state of your microbiome and your your good healthy gut bacteria. Less bloating. This one used is great for diarrhea in children. They've used it for um, atopic dermatitis. Okay, the next one is Lactobacillus plantarum. Okay, here's some major points. This is the most common one used for fermentation. So like kimchi, sauerkraut. Um, bovine, all those African foods, all kinds of things like that. It's also resistant to um, a low pH, so bile salts, and also um, uh, your pH in your stomach. So it's resistant to that, and also pepsin, um, which is an enzyme to break down protein. So um, this is a good one too. It actually helped to have increased adhesion to the mucosal wall. So like, if this is your your gut right and the foods coming through here and there's this mucosal layer that wraps around here right that mucosal layer needs to be healthy and that's why you eat a lot of fiber and vegetables because it keeps it nice a healthy fiber healthy nice um, mucosal membrane and it also cre increases these things called the short chain fatty acids that help to feed the cells that are wrapping around here too so it's really good for absorption of foods and things like that um, but it also when that's healthy that helps to for the bacteria to bind the good bacteria to bind to these this area of this mucosal like a thick layer um, and then it pushes out the bad so pathogenic um, bacteria so it pushes them out so let's go to the next one here so sacro um, bacterobacillus um, salivarius so this one's again safely tested um, it was resistant to acid a low pH in bile, pepsin, and um, pancreatic enzymes. Uh, it had anti-inflammatory properties. Important, right? We don't want inflammation in the gut. Um, resistance to multiple antibiotics. That's huge because I imagine, think about the rounds of antibiotics that people are dealing with today. It's also was really good in dental health. Um, gingivitis, uh, cavities, things like that. Um, reduced mastitis, um, prevented strep throat. 
reduce ulcerative colitis, reduce IBS. Pretty cool. A lot of good stuff there, guys. Um, lactose bacillus acidophilus NCFM. This is our next one. So it was really most researched in IBS pain and bloating. This was an interesting one, too, because there's actually, when you have bloating, um, you get abdominal pain. And it was really what that is is spasms in your gut. Um, what this did was it commun this bacteria actually communicated with your gut cells to modulate spasms. Isn't that pretty cool? So, like, you guys got to remember, like, these bacteria are working sort of, I like to use the word symbiotically. They work with each other, okay, in a symbiotic relationship. Okay, let's see here. Battery's getting low here. Um, diarrhea and constipation it worked well for it. And it actually has properties of lactase, so it helps to break down lactose. And also increased uh, immune function. Streptococcus, uh, thermophilus, um, first colonizing at birth. That's important. We want that eco-immunonutrition, the, the vaginal birth. That's why it's so important because you're going to get the healthy bacteria on the baby, on the child to start developing that microbiome and that gut. Crucial. Um, so good for colic. It's an anti-inflammatory. It suppresses certain um, cytokines and things like that in the body which are just pro-inflammatory proteins um, improved oral health again increased folate we know folate's important for methylation of the body just basically a lot of reactions in the body you need folate that's why you need to be eating green veggies uh, prevents ulcers in h pylori the last one right at the bottom biophidio bacterium lactose bio4 increased immune function uh, reduced um, symptoms of hay fever and actually really good for allergies. So this is a high high quality probiotic guys for you. So again, I hope that helps you to possibly make, make a choice, make a decision. If you want any more recommendations, please comment on the video um, and I'll help you guys as much as I can. Always remember that God made you good and perfect regardless of your symptom, regardless of where you're at in your journey and your walk in life. Maybe you're struggling right now. I'm always praying for you. But always think about that. Eat well, move well, think well, and pray well. You're a body and soul, man. Um, God loves you, and I'm praying for you guys. All right, take care of the temple. It's Dr. Ryan.